suspect in the massacre at that LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs is behind bars facing charges of murder and hate crime. Five people were killed, at least 17 others injured in the attack. Investigators holding a news conference just moments ago. And Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero joins us now with more on uh, the reaction here in Southern California to this mass shooting. You've heard it described as a safe space, right? Uh, that night, some people were there to celebrate a 23rd birthday. The bar itself planned an event for Transgender Day of Remembrance the very next day. But now they are remembering and mourning all they've lost. Colorado Springs' Club Q nightclub has long been a place for people to find community, just not like this. The first victim publicly identified in the Saturday night shooting is Daniel Aston, a bartender, a fiance, and a son. It's just a nightmare that you can't wake up from. And um, I keep thinking it's, so, you know, it's just, it's a mistake. They've made a mistake. The gunman killed five people total and injured at least 17 others. Two people inside the club fought him in order to stop the shooting, risking their lives until police took the gunman into custody. They've identified that gunman as 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich. He is the grandson of California Assemblyman Randy Vopel, who last year compared the January 6th attack on the Capitol to the Revolutionary War. Authorities arrested Aldrich last June. <laughs> After someone reported he had a homemade bomb, the district attorney explains how because the case was dropped, Colorado law prevented it from showing up on background checks. The idea behind it is that that person shouldn't have to carry that charge around with them for the rest of their lives if there's no way to, uh, to convict them of that charge. Their investigation continues with questions rippling onto the streets outside of Club Q. It's terrifying. It's terrifying that, to know that it truly can happen anywhere. And into LGBTQ plus communities everywhere. West Hollywood held a vigil this weekend for support and in hopes they never have to again. I hope in my lifetime that we see that happen and it calms down and we can just all learn to love each other and it can coexist. Like we're not asking for a lot. We're just asking to be able to live as ourselves. In the next few days, we expect the suspect will be released from the hospital and appear in court. He's technically being held right now on preliminary charges with formal charges, including those of hate crimes pending. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.